Hello and welcome back, fellow Vuperians, to the Powder Toy. So I was told by one of you the other day, uh, or actually today, uh, that I can make Isotope Z. Like, make it. So let's see if that's true. So we need glass, because we're going to use caustic. Irradiate acid, not caustic. Okay, so I'm stupid. Irradiate acid with neutrons. Okay, so I, I got it slightly wrong, all right? I don't know. Oh man, we're making a proper factory today. Okay. Let's see. Okay, gold, gold seems to be the material of choice for this. Um, we can make a lot of isotope Z, all right. Fantastic. And looks good to me. Okay, so we need to make neutrons. See, we get neutrons which come out through there. Not not a ton, but it's enough. And they kind of get deflected. How do I make them get deflected into here? Let's do some math. Right? Let's go ahead. I feel like the most efficient way to make neutrons is with deuterium it just makes so many how do we keep it from going boom can we get a stable deuterium reaction i feel like we have to keep the pressure low right if we can keep a low pressure environment okay I'll... depression it it didn't do anything I was hoping it would do. Didn't help at all. <laughs> Goodbye. Time to fix my mistakes. Wait, can I just... Oh, no, I saved that. Man, why do I save things? I should just destroy them instead. All right. We're going to use polonium. I don't think there is a much better resource we can use for the sake of just getting neutrons. Do I like using polonium? Not really. Um, it's kind of warm, uh, but I don't think it's going to melt. Don't, oh, don't quote me on that, damn. Oh, what, what is it doing? Is that because it's getting warm? Very fun. Okay, so stage two is going to be full of our friend acid, which means that I should not have chosen this material. That was an awful choice. We should be using gold. Gold is an adequate choice. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, acid will eat through most things because it's acid. Um, you'll notice that the... The photons are just passing right through the gold. That's fine, because we are going to get acid, and we're going to fill this bad boy with acid. So now what's going to happen is isotope Z is going to be created when these neutrons smack into this area. At least they it should be. I mean, I see some isotope Z at the bottom there. Yeah, there's some that came out right there. Oh, oh, see that darker purple? That's exactly what we want. But we want more of it. So we're going to actually increase the amount of polonium we've got in here. Oh, that I, I leaked a little bit. Whoops. Uh-oh, I made a mistake. That's all right. Everything is fine. I have made mistakes before in my life. I am one of them. <laughs> okay, uh... If I break this end now, it'll go... Okay, fantastic. Yeah, I still made a slight mistake, but it's not the end of the world. I just have to uh, do this, do this, and then I have to put the store down below, which is fun, 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 fun by me. Go ahead, grab some of this isotope Z. Make sure it's working with efficiency. 
Oh, look at it go. Oh, very nice. All right. Next stage. Mm mm mm. You can get two ninety nine off your next happy we happy meal if happy wheels. Oh God, am I supposed to play Happy Wheels now that I've said that? Oh no, is that a premonition? Spike plays Happy Wheels. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh the horror. No. <gasps> Okay, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. What mistake did I make? Okay, acid can eat store. Acid can eat store? Acid can eat store. How do I fix this? And the pipe's getting clogged. Is that the solid? Oh no, that's the solid right there. What? Why isn't it going to... Oh, solid isotope Z isn't a powder, is it? It's just solid solid. It doesn't move. No, are you kidding me? After all that? No, it's gotta be a powder. Please? Okay. No! Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man. Oh. I'm really sad now. I have a solution. I'm- I'm not going to be angry. This isn't going to work, but I have a solution. I thought this would be challenging, but not quite this challenging. Okay, let's see if that's enough water to kill the acid. It doesn't really seem to be doing much to the acid. Is this getting hot? Oh, it is. It's getting very hot. Huh. Why is it getting warm? Ugh. Great. We're, we're, we're creating a big problem now. <laughs> um. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna have to cool this down, clearly. Um. Uh, I'm having bad luck with this entire endeavor. Can it possibly be my fault? It must be bad luck. Okay, let's go ahead and get some LN2. And just, there we go. Keep things nice and if we have cold water falling down, then uh, should get everything a little bit more normal. No? Well, this is at negative and this is Dropping in temperature slip. No, it's gaining. Oh, we need more. All right. You want to play games? I will. I will go ahead because I am literally playing a game. I will be able to cool you down eventually. Is there something else I should put into the acid? Wait a second. Burn the acid. The acid is full. Oh, you're so smart! I forgot the acid is flammable. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. There's the solution. Genius. Absolute genius. Please clap for that man who suggested that. I completely forgot that the acid is flammable. Maybe a little bit more? Okay, maybe a little bit more. Clone. Throw a third guy down. Throw some polonium on him. God, I love it when people throw polonium on me. There we go. Very nice. This ensures that we're getting a new, fresh mix. Same thing over here. We're just going to put a single clone here. 
We don't really need that much acid, so I'm not going to like go crazy about it. We're just gonna put one here. We're gonna grab acid and go boom. All right, we have clone. We have acid. We have a system for burning the acid alive. This isn't breaking the pipe, is it? I have no clue what's happening. I didn't damage the pipe, right? Fire. Oh, uh, is the fire blocking the pipe? I think the fire is actually blocking the pipe. How does fire block? Okay. Fine, 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 fine. I'll, I'll move the fire, okay? okay? So that pours through, that's fine. We'll do the fire in the middle, uh, so it doesn't clog the entire thing up. And we'll put a fume hood on it as well. How? Wow, this is real chemistry now. We're getting fume hood hoods involved. Watch this. Like this. <sighs> I'll just cut the bottom off. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good to me. Put the fire here. Try to get in the middle, like there. But we put the fire here. That should burn off any excessive acid. I should actually put it lower down to like here, but first I have something to do. Uh, we have to get this and do this. Okay, that's exactly what I want. Uh, and then we're going to get that isotope C. the actual thing we've been trying to get the entire time and we're going to put it into this circle here where we're going to actually react it to make photons and uh, make energy hmm okay Here's the part where I need to actually bring the fire lower um, to prevent this from getting terribly destroyed. Uh, how am I going to do this? Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to clog this temporarily. Oh, it's already clogged by what? Smoke? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> how does this happen? And, of course, the acid leaked through, giving me a bad day. Oh, great, and it broke the chamber as well. Hmm. Killing the acid. Maybe it has a tiny bit of trouble, but I don't really notice it. I think adding more fire, though, is going to be good for the system. Um, I just need to get the temperature down. Spike reach it. Protons fix pol I know protons fix polonium. I know. It's just, it's simpler to just put fresh polonium in. Protons also go through, like, all materials and heat things up and cause massive issues. <laughs> I just, I don't want to accidentally blow everything up when I can just use a way simpler method. Okay, there we go. That will handle the ass. Oh my god. Okay, this is annoying me. That's it. That's it. I have a solution to this. It's a good one. All this smoke. Give me a moment. I will enact my fury. Fury, I tell you. This is getting to be a long stream. 
wanting to go crazy at this rate. We're just gonna put a filter, the uh, liquid only. Allows liquids. Very nice. Uh, actually, I'll put it a little bit lower. Allows liquids. We'll put it here, and then we'll just kind of do a thing like this. Oh, shoot. Where does it start? There it is. Okay. There we go. Isotope Z makes it through. What is going on here? Oh, there was still some here, wasn't there? Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. This seems to be working. Keyword is seems, but I believe it is actually working. All right. We have an Isotope Z factory. It works. Not awfully either. It's actually quite good at its job. But that's not to say it's perfect. This factory could probably be a lot more efficient, and it also doesn't do its final goal yet, which is creating electricity, because we're trying to make a reactor here, not just a chemistry lab. But, I'm gonna leave that for next time. Today we built an Isotope Z factory. Tomorrow, we're going to turn it into a reactor. I'm sorry. This has taken a long time to do, and I feel like it's better if I split this up into a second part so that I don't go absolutely insane. <laughs> But let me just say, before I go, there's one thing you should know. If you want to talk to the fans, if you want to be a part of the community, and if you don't want to miss streams, you should go to... Oh, I can type. You should go to... Di That's going to be really... There we go. Go to Discord. Dot GG. Slash. Spookvooper. We're a great community, we have an economy and a government, and you can run for office and become a cool Vuperian who is, like, awesome and stuff. Join us there! The fun never ends, it's like the stream continues forever. Discord.gg slash It's in the description as well, you have no excuse to not be there. We will continue tomorrow, I promise, okay? We will continue tomorrow. And with that, I'll see you all next time. Peace out. Stay safe. Hail Vuperia.